Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install or dual boot Windows 10 on a laptop that came pre-installed with Windows 11. And this is going to be a pretty generic tutorial applicable on all laptops. But I'm going to do this on my Lenovo Lock with the Intel Core i5 12450HX and the RTX 4060. I've covered this laptop in detail on my channel. If you want to watch the reviews and stuff, they are all linked in the description as well as in the cards. So why am I doing this? So first of all, in general, I just prefer Windows 10 over Windows 11. To me, it just feels a lot more snappy, smoother. You know, it just takes you know less clicks to reach certain items in context menus. It feels less clunky. Also, it's easier to disable applications running in the background, those Windows applications running in the background. And uh, more importantly, the biggest reason is that one big advantage of using Windows 10 over Windows 11 is that on Windows 10, you can undervolt your Intel CPU with, you know, using throttle stop or Intel XTU while keeping your hardware based virtualization enabled. On Windows 11, you cannot undervolt your Intel CPU using throttle stop or Intel XTU while keeping your virtualization enabled. You know, this is a big problem. You have to disable virtualization on Windows 11 if you want to undervolt your CPU using throttle stop or Intel XTU, which can be a major deal breaker for a lot of people who use applications that need hardware based virtualization, such as you know, WSL2, VirtualBox, or you know, all these Android emulators, etc. So, you know, using Windows 10, you are both able to undervolt your CPU using Intel XTU or throttle stop while keeping your virtualization enabled, which is a pretty big deal. So before beginning this video, if you're new to the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Also consider joining our Telegram community link in the description. With that said, guys, let's get going. Okay. Step one, go to the Microsoft site and get the download tool. Step two, open the tool and download the ISO file. I prefer using this way because I can keep the ISO handy for future use. Step three, while the file is getting downloaded, go to this site and download Rufus and open it. This will be used to create our bootable USB. Step four, once your Windows ISO is downloaded, go to Rufus, select the appropriate USB drive, and select the ISO. Do note the contents of the USB drive will be deleted. Press start. Okay. Okay. Step five. We will create the backup of all the drivers currently installed on our Windows 11 system. To do this, we will use a PowerShell command. So open PowerShell as administrator and run this command. It will export all the drivers to a folder named lock underscore drivers in the root directory of your C drive. You can of course provide your own export path and folder as well. Step six, copy this driver folder to an external drive or any accessible drive because we will be using it when we go into Windows 10. Step seven, open Windows Partition Manager and create a new partition for Windows 10. I'm going to create a partition of 350 gigabytes
Select do not assign a drive letter or path. I think this ensures that both the partitions are bootable because we will keep both Windows 11 and Windows 10 bootable. Step 8. Now we are ready to install Windows 10. Shut down your laptop and spam F12 while booting up to open the boot menu. Different manufacturers can have different boot menu key. Select the bootable USB and wait for the installer to start. Step 9. Select the basic options and then select custom install. And select the newly created partition and wait for the install to finish. Once it's installed, it'll restart and finish up the rest of the process. Step 10. Okay, so finally we are in Windows 10. And as you can see, it's completely stock without any appropriate drivers. So let's install the drivers. Open device manager. And you can see all the devices with missing drivers. First, I'm going to install the display drivers so that I can start my screen capture again. You can install the Wi-Fi drivers first as well. It's totally your choice. So right click on the device, select update driver, browse my computer for drivers, choose the backup driver folder, and make sure to select include subfolders and hit next. It will search and start installing the required drivers. And as you can see after waiting a bit, our RTX 4060 GPU drivers are installed. Next I'll also install the Intel iGPU drivers in the same way. Okay, it's installed. So now I can get back to the screen capture. Okay, now you have two choices. You can install the network driver to enable Wi-Fi and use Windows Update to install most of the drivers. Or you can keep going manually and install all the drivers from your backup. And that's what I actually prefer as it's just much faster than Windows Update. So let's go. Okay, so we are done installing all our drivers. Now to get some of the more important OEM applications, you can either visit your laptop support site or you can mostly find them on Windows Store. So for Lenovo, I'm going to install the Lenovo Vantage.
नहीं मेक ऑडियो कंट्रोल पैनल फॉर ऑडियो कंट्रोल एंड ऑल्सो द एनवीडिया कंट्रोल पैनल All right. So once all that's done, you can now go into Windows Update and get the remaining updates, if any. This will be much quicker. And also, you can see Windows 11 is still bootable, and therefore, you, if you don't like Windows 10 or facing any issues with Windows 10. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know in the comments down below. Do you prefer Windows 10 or Windows 11? Uh, as for me, I'm just going to switch completely to Windows 10. I'm just keeping Windows 11, you know, just in case I need to switch there just for whatever reason. But ultimately, you know, I'm going to you know, switch to in Windows 10. So yeah, do let me know. With that said, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. Also, join our Telegram community. Link in the description. All right, guys, take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.